In this video, we're going to be talking about this really angry motorcycle rider that I don't want you guys being doing. So look over on the bottom left. Boom, right there. It's on the screen. Let's not do this now. We're going to be focusing heavily only on this one. So if you don't like to see angry motorcycle riders uh, making you cringe, this might not be the video for you. But I sat through it on the live stream, which I do every Tuesday, Thursday at 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and see me in class. So anyways, we're going to go up into here, intersection, lots of cross traffic, having fun in the under the bridge. Whoa! Oh my f God. Oh man. All right. Whew, check your pants, man. Whoa, what are we doing here? You caught up? No, 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 no. Don't do this. Class, class, don't do this. Please. No, no one, don't do this. Got it on camera. It's on camera. What? Pull over. What? You almost hit me. Huh? I got it on camera. Okay. Okay, pull over. I can't pull over. Why? I got your license plate. You're scaring people at this plate. point. She, if that was my wife, I'd say if any guy on a motorcycle or anybody on a motorcycle comes at you and tells you to pull over, uh, don't. It's just like, don't. Let's go to the beginning of this. I understand um, the agitation because it was a life-threatening situation, but here's the thing. Check your pantalones. Check where you are. If you're good, you're good. Are you bleeding? No. You broken? No. Can you walk? Yeah. You're good. End of story. So we're going to go through here. I do that too. We're under a bridge. It's a lot of fun. Try it out someday. But here's the thing. Don't do it when you're in an orange stage situation. Okay? That might be a little bit dangerous because you do need to have your, your power to the rear wheel. You, need, you do need to have all your primary controls basically within reach. Make sure you hit that like button, by the way, everybody. Come on now. Come on now. Sign into class. Anyways, going over here. So we got this big gap. Everyone was crossing. I'm assuming it was yellow for these people. When they got into the intersection, now it's a red arrow for them, and now it's a green for us. I, that's what I'm assuming. And then we see that vehicle way over to the right. So once we see somebody not slowing down or stopping, and they're going to try to make it, okay, we got green over here. If they're not slowing down, we need to start applying some brake pressure, at least in here. Just trying to like slow it down a little bit to allow this dumb dumb to go across. It's as simple as that. There's not much you're going to be able to do. There's not much you can be able to do. Oh. Right here, progressive brake pressure. We're not trying to stop. We're just trying not to get into the path of travel of the Jeep. And he did a good job on that. He applied the brakes. So remember, when we talk about that in the syllabus, okay, we, we talked about the syllabus over here on, on Patreon. Uh, if you guys want to grab the syllabus before class so that way you know what we're talking about, boom, there it is. Steve Davies and John E. Glass. I'm going to go ahead and get to what you're your AAR report is pretty soon, but this was the syllabus. So here's the thing, you know, was ego a contributing factor in this road rage incident? It's, oh, heck yeah. What's the main fo uh, factor of this close call or crash? Uh, situation awareness, but some progressive skills, but he was able to go ahead and get himself out of there. Would gear have mitigated this issue? If you got T-bone, probably not. Honestly, it's a bad thing. What is the good thing the rider did? Boom, that's what we're going to be talking about right now. What is the good thing the rider did? And that rider, what he did was progressive brake pressure just enough to get himself out of danger now we need to be smart riders wear full gear once again just in case something bad happens but if he got t-boned in this incident i'm gonna tell you right now everybody gear would not uh would it would not save your life if you got t-boned going 50 or if they were going 50 right into the side of you and maybe it would have maybe but we're talking about a massive mechanism of injury here massive <sighs> That's why we got to be situationally aware and have good progressive brake pressure in this situation, right? All right, so let's go ahead and watch this a little bit more. <laughs> All right, so at this point, you just did what you needed to do, got yourself out of the situation. What are you going to do to that person that's going to help out? Nothing. So move on. Are you going to be able to teach that person anything? Probably not. Move on. Is that person going to say sorry or anything? Probably not. We've seen a lot of these things, especially when you're uh, approaching them in an agitated state. Nothing's going to happen that's going to be any good. So let's just move on with our day, be thankful for the day that we have, and just there it is. So this right here, 
Just look what you're trying to do. You're telling them to pull over. They have no idea what happened. They might not have seen you because of inattentional blindness, motion induced blindness, or any other psychological things or phenomenons. You got it on camera. It's on camera. Take it to the cops then. So she is so confused, so confused. And this is why I tell my wife, don't pull over. Because you don't know what that person's going to do. You All right, we're going to move on from this one. I got it on camera. Okay, okay pull over. I Why? I got it on camera, pull over. I did pull over. Why? It's, it's like you're in an agitated state. You're in this argumentative state where none of you, you, none of your... Your words are making logical sense. She's in a logical position because she's not agitated. You are. So we already lost this. Moving on. I got your license plate. I got your license plate. Guys, if you like this kind of stuff, we do this every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel at 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time live. So make sure you check that out. But if you want to check out some other things like this video right here, or this video right here, please do so. It supports the channel. Click that like button, by the way. Check into class. Anyways, I'll be seeing you around.